Hi everyone, Paradise here, back with another Diablo 3 video. Uh, this is going to be a very short video, because the game's just come out and it's really hard to drag myself away from it, but I did want to talk very briefly about the economy of gems and gem crafting and the jeweler in the game, because right now, uh, three days after release, it is in a very interesting situation. Okay, so let's talk about gems. As you probably know, there are four colours of gem in Diablo 3, and each colour has got 14 qualities. The eight lowest quality gems, um, from chipped through to flawless square, can be found in-game in the various difficulties, and the final six can only be obtained by combining um, three gems of the lower tier to get the next tier or by purchasing it off the auction house. Because the game hasn't been out very long, the numbers of higher quality gems currently in circulation on the auction house is very small, and the prices are very erratic. So today I'm going to just look at the first seven tiers, because there are large numbers of those being traded already. So if we just take a quick look at the crafting costs to combine three of one type of gem, into the next tier up. So chipped is obviously the lowest, so you can't craft that from anything. Uh, the next one's flawed, which costs 500, and then the costs escalate to 750, 1250, and then when you get to perfect, it's 2000, plus it costs a page of jewel crafting, and then 3500, plus two pages, and finally 7500, plus one tome of jewel crafting to get the square amethyst. So far so good, but you can already see that the costs here add up really fast, because 7500 is not that cheap, and if you were to create a square out of entirely chipped ones, you're looking at paying the jewel a quarter of a million gold to do that. Not that anybody would, because you will start finding the higher tier of gems before you have enough of the earlier first tiers to worry about combining them too heavily. But here's where it gets interesting. For each of these gem types, I took a snapshot of the current purchase price on the gold auction house, uh, as at the 19th of May, and I've listed them here. One of the most interesting things here is that the flawed and normal amethysts are actually cheaper to buy than the chipped ones on the auction house. Hopefully not too many people are buying the chipped ones because they're not good value at the current pricing, but that's been quite consistent ever since I've started looking at this since release. The other thing that you can see is that it is a lot cheaper to purchase the higher ranks of gem here than it is to craft them. So a square amethyst costs 7500 plus a tome of jewel crafting, plus three radiant amethysts to craft, or you can just buy it for 2400 off the auction house with no materials required. As long as the price is that low, the jeweler has effectively been priced out of this market. There is no reason for you to use the jeweler to upgrade any of these low qualities of gem, because they are cheaper to just buy. However, as a Diablo 3 player, you're probably going to end up with a certain number of low quality gems sitting in your stash, and if it's not economical to craft with them, well what can you do? The next column on the table shows the amount of profit that you would make by selling three of each type of gem on the auction house at the same prices that I've used as the current market value. Um, minus 15% for Blizzard's cut, if you sell three chipped amethysts for example, you'll come away with 303 gold in profit. At the higher end, if you sell three square amethysts, you'll come away with 6120. But you obviously didn't need me to tell you that you can sell stuff on the auction house to make a profit, so just looking at the last column on the table, this shows the effective cost if you were to use the auction house to sell three of a specific quality of gem, and then buy one of the next quality up. So, if you sell three chipped amethysts for 303, and you buy a flawed amethyst for 50, uh, your upgrade cost via the AH is negative 250, so you actually make a profit from upgrading. And the interesting thing is, that applies for all of those early ranks. Um, using the auction house to upgrade your gem quality makes you money while upgrading your gems. The only time where it actually costs you anything is for the square 
amethysts and even then the upgrade cost so your net cost of doing this is only 620 gold compared to if you crafted the upgrade with the jeweler would cost you seven and a half thousand so i don't know how long this is going to last obviously this is a market aberration because people are selling these gems perhaps without understanding their relative quality but right now if you've got any of these low tier gems and you want to upgrade them the auction house is your best friend so use it now before people figure this out because I guarantee you in six months time you won't be able to make a profit by upgrading gems via the auction house um, that's it for this video uh, thank you very much for watching and listening this has been Paradise, and I will make more Diablo 3 videos in the future, so if you like what you see, please subscribe, leave a comment below, do whatever you want, and I will catch you next time. Bye.